Alright ladies and gents, this is centrifuge polish number three. It's been a while since I've done anything, but this is my setup as it has been for a little while. What I do is I take a five gallon carboy and I use this pump here from Noel Young on eBay. It is a 115 volt pump. Two gallons an hour rated at 100, about 100 PSI and then what it does is I use it to go through this 15 micron pre-sediment filter and uh, what that does it gets out the breadcrumbs and gets out all that junk right there <clears throat> and then what I do which is probably not very smart but once I get my oil in there as you can see I got cans in there I got um, three cans with crappy vegetable oil in it that I either used or it's just you know a bottom of the barrel garbage and what I do with that I put uh, cut up jeans in there fold them put the folds at the bottom light them on fire wait about an hour <coughs> excuse me and I and then I um, light them on fire and it seems to work pretty well I got a babysit of course but anyway as you see there I got 15 gallons processing what I did was I took the barrel, took a 55 gallon barrel, and I soldered the connection there with a brass fitting for a one half inch hose. And what that is, this big hose here is a 4,000 PSI hydraulic hose. Um, I uh, happened to come across it. And uh, anyways, same thing here. I came across this um, carbonator pump. That's a, a quarter horsepower carbonator pump. I don't know if I got the label on there anymore, but that's the um, that's the kind of carbonator pump it is. You can find those carbonator pumps on eBay. People say they don't work very well, but this thing works uh, pretty darn good. That's for sure. Anyways, I have a you know goes to the to the carbonator pump, which it'll do two gallons an hour at a, at a hundred psi. Um, so I can actually run. Uh, two of my centrifuges and it goes through Goodyear uh, 3 8 inch SAE 30R7 I say again the Goodyear SAE 30R7 fuel line hose it's rated for 250 degrees uh, Fahrenheit I don't know what the temperature is all I know is I don't reach that I get my oil to, a, to about 100 150 degrees it just depends anyways it pumps it out and then it goes to my centrifuge here, which is a Pacific Biodiesel centrifuge. And they, it comes all together. It's only $160. This thing works absolutely fantastic. I have absolutely no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And once my oil gets to temperature where I want it at, and once the flames calm down, the uh, it maintains right around, as you can see, blurry-like, uh, about 90 PSI. And that's that's where you want it and it's just touching it right now it's just mildly warm from the heat from the uh, hot vegetable oil and it works very well and once I once it's done I pump it into this barrel here and this is my excess this is my my finished product and uh, I should put a gauge on there but I don't but anyways I just fill it through the top hole here that you see and then when I want to use it I um, just connect it up to my little I just put the uh, container on the ground and just turn the black valve here and then go that way. This one right here I install just for something else. But anyways, that's my setup. It works very, very well. I use this oil to um, run in my 95 Mercedes E300D. I've been doing that for two and a half, three months now. Zero problems all the way down to 40 degrees. No problems whatsoever, no performance degrades, fuel miles, uh, combined city with highways and uh, going up and down hills and all that mess. It's right around 25 miles a gallon or so. And that's that's even with 50% highway driving or better at 70 plus miles an hour. So I do, uh, okay. And the, the uh, pump doesn't r draw much power at all. Um, and uh, because it's only... Um, 50, uh, 60 gallons an hour centrifuge I let it run for uh, go, go through four cycles 
and depending on the but uh, since I started using the pre-filter here uh, there hasn't been very much gunk inside the uh, in, inside the inside the uh, centrifuge which is good but it does get a lot of the grease out a lot of the fats and all that good mess you don't want to heat your oil up too hot because otherwise it'll melt the fats and uh, the fats is what causes a lot of the problems so I like I said about hundred degrees gets a lot of the black nasty uh, crap that would just be stuck in your engine Anyways, I hope you like it. Leave comments if you care.